New at 11 tonight now, Philadelphia police, along with the FBI, are investigating the discovery of a body inside of a home in the city's Germantown section. And some anxious loved ones are waiting for an official identification. Action reporter Sharifa Jackson joins us live outside of police headquarters with all the details. Sharifa. Yeah, Rick, efforts are underway to identify the badly decomposed body. One family believes it's the body of their missing loved one, a woman who lived on the same street and missing now for months. It was a neighbor's report of a foul and lingering smell that led authorities to this abandoned home on East Penn Street Tuesday morning. Investigators say while serving a search warrant, an FBI agent found a decomposed body at the bottom of the basement floor steps. Chopper 6 was there as authorities carried out evidence into the night. Close to the scene was the Brockington family. We've been up and down this block. We've been passing off flyers. You know, um, I'm sure everybody in the neighborhood by now knows, you know, that she was missing and that we were looking. Tina Brockington's cousin, Javita Brockington, went missing August 6th. She was last seen leaving her home on East Penn Street and reportedly heading towards Atlantic City, but never returned. The 39 year old and mother of two vanished with few clues until today. The family says the body found was just two homes down from where Javita lives. But for it to be so close, you know, we still have that hope, um, you know, so now to come here is just very hurtful. As the medical examiner works on a positive ID, Tina thinks of her cousin. She was um, very free spirited, very free spirited, um, very spicy. I always call her spicy because she speaks her mind. She was loved. Now just waiting to learn if she has been found. Yeah, this family anxiously awaiting official word. There's still a lot of questions, a lot to learn. I can tell you this case is being investigated as a possible homicide. Live outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Sharifa Jackson, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. All right, Sharifa, thank you.